In this problem, we are given this equality, e of x is equal to 1 plus ln of x over ln of 10, and we're asked to compute a few different things. Asked to de first, asked to determine the derivative of e of x. So let's go ahead and do that. Do it ter term by term. Derivative of 1 is just 0, so we'll forget about that. Now, pull out constant of 1 over ln 10, and then find the derivative of ln of x, which is simply 1 over x. And then we can simplify this a little bit by just putting it all in one fraction, so it becomes 1 over x times ln of 10. Easy stuff. Next, we are asked to determine the rate of change of e of x with respect to x at the point x equals 1,000. So that's as simple as plugging 1,000 into the equation that we just derived. So prime of 1,000 equals 1 over 1,000 times ln of 10. There might be some math prodigies out there who can do that in their head, but I would probably just use a calculator. And in any case, on a quiz, it should be fine as your final answer for this. So next, we're asked to find e of 100 and e of 10. So let's do that. So e of 100, we'll plug it back into our original equation. ln of 10. This might look like you don't have any way to simplify it, but it's actually not that difficult. And you recognize that this is the same thing as 2 times ln of 10. These ln of 10s cancel. You're left with 2 here. And the final answer for that is just 3. So next, we're going to evaluate e of 10. Again, we're just going to plug it back into our original equation. And this cancels right away without us having to do anything, leaving us with just 1. So our final answer here is 2. We'll box these because they're going to be important for our next part of the problem. Here, we are asked to find some value c such that the derivative at c is equal to e of 100 minus e of 10 over 100 minus 10. So the best way to go about doing this is to simply work with both sides of the equation and find some way to determine c in the end. So let's plug in c into our derivative first, which is 1 over c times ln of 10. Next. Let's plug in some values here, see what we get. We know that e of 100 is equal to 3. We know that e of 10 is equal to 2. And we hopefully know that 100 minus 10 is 90. And this is just the same thing as 1 minus 90. So now when we're trying to figure out c, we have the equality that 1 over c times ln of 10 is the same thing as nine, 1 over 90. Of course, this is the same thing as writing that c times ln of 10 equals 90. And then from here, all you need to do is divide both sides by ln of 10 to get your final answer. Then you just plug this into a calculator, get some crazy decimal, and you're good to go.